Hey everyone, I'm back with uh, another haul. I have some wood stamps and some photopolymer stamps and some dyes as well to share with you today. Um, first, let me share you these stamps here. <laughs> um, I got this uh, cute canning jar. It's got the little stitch label. Um, one of the things, I don't know if you guys know this again I've said this before is if you don't want the label don't ink it up it's pretty much easy to avoid that center piece if you want you can just ink up the edges here and then the lid if that's how you want to do it um, so I think that's really cute and then of course you can ink up just the lid if you want to um, paper piece it you know that would be cute too right so this jar is from 2000 limited edition and there's no artist on it I don't think it's ever been inked up. Well, no, it has, because it's got ink right here. Or maybe it fell into something. <laughs> I got this as a lot. Um, I, I've, I've been eyeing this one for a little while just because I was kind of like apprehensive. And then I thought, well, you know, obviously the images on the front aren't how they have to look. So when you go to color them, you can do whatever you want. It was kind of a little off-putting in the colors that they use, so I was kind of like, eh, I'm not sure if I want that. But, you know, obviously you can color them whatever colors you want and however you want to color them. So these are all Inka Dinka Do stamps. And I don't know if this one is from the same illustrator because it's a little bit different than the others, so I'm thinking it is different. Um, 6882 and there's an M is the item number. It doesn't have a name. And then there's this one, which all of these have the illustrator on them. Cynthia Lis Lasonsky, also in Gadinga Do, 6782M. So there's the little gingers in a basket. Um, this one's got a hat on, and this one's got like a halo. So he's probably an angel ginger. And then there's this one, and this one is 6781K. Again, there's her name. And then there's this big one, which has gingerbread cookies here. And there's an angel here. Um, this one is 6780Q. So those are the ones from that lot. And then I got this little guy, which is really cute. I think he's a bear and he's holding a large candy cane. I just think he's adorable. I think this is uh, Anita's from 2002 because the rest of the label got uh, ripped off somehow. So I don't know what the name was. And it's, it's a little strange because the wood is very light compared to say um, even some of these other stamps that I have on my desk. Um, even though it is a big stamp block, the wood is very light, which is kind of nice because the weight when you're stamping something um, often is too much when it's these larger stamps. I did get this penguin. Uh, this is a Darcy's. And I think, again, you need to cut into it to make the project that they had in mind for this. Um, and perhaps it's just for, you know, making his... Uh, wings fold in a little bit or maybe it's for a sort of um, three-dimensional project P3408 all right and then I got two sets here um, well one is a single stamp and I, I showed you before that I had already purchased this from another seller this has never been used this one um, and again I have um, an idea that I want to do with the extra set that I have so it's called Country Hutch, and it is from Stampin' Up! 1998. So it is not from the same year that they did the others. I don't think those were 98. I could be wrong. I don't remember now because I don't have the stamp out. It's over somewhere else. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, the other one I have is mounted on the block. This one is not yet mounted, so it's never been used. Um, so there's that. Then I got this set which has an extra in it. This set has um, one gingerbread stamp. It's right here. 
This is from Stampin' Up. Um, and I forget what the name of it is. <laughs> but you can see it's got an angel in it. She's cute. Um, and you can see you can put the baskets down underneath that bow. So it looks like she's carrying the basket. Or you can put this like wreath or whatever you have, you know. Watermelon with a crow. I, I'm not sure. Maybe that's somewhere in the Americana stuff that I'm not aware of. Um, then there is this stamp here. Um, Friends so dear are angels here. And then there's lots of other little, little stamps. This is a cube stamp from Susie King. And you guys know I've been collecting her um, stamps too from Stamp Passions. I know it's going to be hard to see, but there's a duck. Um, I, don't, I think that's a party hat. I could be wrong. Uh, a baby bottle. It's all baby themed. And then a um, pacifier. So what is this? Is it upside down? I think it's this way. It looks like a hat. A little party hat. I'll have to stamp it out. But you get four on a cube, so um, I've been collecting those as well. Um, those are the... No, those aren't the wooden stamps. I have two more to share. So these two are very similar in nature. It's it's funny because somebody... I guess the posting had it as a Sharpay. It kind of does look like a Sharpay, but this is not a dog. This is a bear set. And you guys know it's very similar to the bunny that I got that was laying um, horizontally. Um, look very closely at the initials there. So this one is um, from Stamp Passions. It's called Cozy Connection G5013. And I got one very similar with the same sort of bear style. And it's this one. Look, he's baking. I knew I had to get this one. This is so cute. Um, he's baking. So he's got all the stuff around him. There's the same initials there. Sam Passions. And G5023. A pinch and a dash. Now this one is from 1994. Um, but this one is from 1992. So those are the two um, Diana stamps that I got. Uh, let me remove my address from view. <laughs> um, I did get this one. Um, I forgot to pick this up in my uh, first order. Actually, it was out of stock when I first ordered from the release. And this is one of Anna's um, stamps that was just released. 2.4 inches by 3.2 gingerbread mitten. And there's the item number if you need to find it on the whippersnapper um, stamps. And I got the cling one with the insert. Um, so really, really cute and a nice job. So I can't wait to color that up. Um, Ooh, I almost knocked that down. So I, I got a couple of, um, stamps from the stamp markets release. Um, this I believe is a freebie because I did not order this. So they're all Christmas themed and this one's called let's be merry. So a nice big sentiment to cover a card. Um, this can go on the inside of your card, obviously. So the outside and inside, if you want to do it that way. I got this tree and the die, and this is in the sale. This was in the sale cat category or clearance category. Um, so vintage tree, and it's a big one. So it will cover the front of your card if, if that's what you want it to do. And that's why I purchased it. And it's got the little garland here. So I thought this would be nice, like, you know, obviously green or, and then some gold, embossed berries um, or red you know string here that would be cute so I got those that's not far from the new release this is from the new release so I got this um, stencil and does it have the name on here no it's of course you could see what it is it's like a um, sweater stencil and then this is the word um, joy in the script and it's the background layer and then the thin um, layer that you can center over it. 
And here is a jumbo candy cane. And it's not like exact, it's like kind of organic looking. This jumbo candy cane, it's really big. Um, sometimes you guys like measurements, so I will do that. It's four, wow. Four and, I should measure this one because it might be bigger. No, it's not bigger. Four and uh, three quarters. No, four and a uh, five eighths. Four and five eighths, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, four and five eighths. So you could just cut both layers and then you put one on top of the other. And of course, the back one would be a different color or, you know, material or something. Um, these two I got together. These are the Sweet Holiday Wishes stamp and die. And then this last one is the Fancy Frames. Um, so that's what I got from the stamp market release for this month of October. And then I ordered from my favorite overseas Germany store. Um, so this came from Germany. And it, interestingly enough, it only takes a week and a half to me. Um, I have an order placed from a scrapbook store in California, which I, I am never going to order from again. Um, that does the big sales. I did not purchase during a big sale, but she said they were working on orders from August. And I'm like, August? <laughs> I don't know what kind of work she, she does, but she certainly takes a very long time. If you can get an order from Germany faster than you can get an order from California, that's really sad. Um, especially if she wants to stay open for business. I don't know why anybody would order and wait that long. You're just you're basically saying, yeah, hold my money for the next six months. I'm not going to do that. Won't ever order from her again. Um, I learned my lesson now. Anyway, so this order came from, let's see if they have the, yeah. Here is the shop online. Okay. So don't ask me later in a comment what the shop is. There it is, right there. Um, and this is the owner, Stephanie Graham, and it's Charlie and Paul Chen. So I ordered the truck here, and the truck has different things you can put in it. Um, the one thing that I ordered was the, the Christmas trees. And I probably have a Christmas tree die I could try and fit in there, but I went ahead and, you know, put my order in for the trees here. Uh, you get this too. Okay, so it's it's a couple of different size trees, star, and then the sentiment. And um, they have an autumn one too, so it's got some little things that you can put inside the truck. I don't have a truck like this one. I have that old, that red truck that everybody has um, reproduced over and over again. This is a little bit of a different style, so I ordered this one. And then there's this, which is, I, I did the translate on Google because I'm not... <laughs> a speaker of German or understand it. So, um, I ordered this, you guys know what this is, right? Typically they come unassembled, but you put the candles in the little slots here. And then when you light the candles, this little whirly thing turn starts turning because of the heated air. So, um, that's what this is in case you guys don't know what it is and you get the candles here. So, and there's little people, there's like a little uh, nativity scene and a little, looks like a shepherd with a, a lamb maybe and you can put them in the scene so really cute dice and it's it's not small by the way here's the die so you can see it's pretty it's pretty good size i just thought this is nice because we have one of these and usually they're crafted from wood and then there's this girl and i think spellbinders has a die very similar to this but it was sold out when i went to the shop to pick it up or pick one up when i was shopping with carla and somebody had a card that had her legs swinging back and forth or side to side. Um, present for you is what it's called. And actually you get this die. That's what that says. Um, and then you get some, she's carrying some packages here. So this is one die set here. And then she's got some individual ones where you can actually cut separately and then layer on top so that they're different. You can paper piece it basically. So... I got that one and then I've got two larger sets and one of them goes with the paper that you can kind of see behind. 
so let me pull these out. This one is um, called Danish Guard, and that says um, Merry Christmas. I think it's Norwegian. Um, and if you do decide you want to purchase, just be aware you're you're paying in euros, so you're going to have the um, what do you call it exchange rate, and you can pay with PayPal. So that's what I do. Um, there's a little guard tower, and then these little guys. You got three different guards, and then you got the sentiment and um, this little bugle. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Drumsticks, maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, he's carrying a drum. So he's got the drum, and those are little drumsticks. So really cute. I don't know why it's in this big folder like it is. <laughs> but um, I did get the matching paper for it. Um, I will transfer that over to a smaller envelope. Um, and then this one is a, a whole collection of uh, stamps and dies. And it's it's intended originally as a Christmas shop or a toy shop. So you get the little bits and pieces to go inside the shop. This is the shop storefront. I know I have a storefront already, but this is different. Um, so you got the little decor for Christmas, the little kids that can stand outside or inside the shop. There's a sled, a bow, a little dog, um, and a boy and a girl like they're looking into the window. And then you got the little toys to make a toy shop. You can make a scene on the inside of the window that's a, you know, outdoor scene. Um, there's a, um, I don't know what that is. Oh, post office box. Sorry. <laughs> it's a post office box. And you got little mail. Um, so you got the sign too. And this, so this is a collection. And I'll show you. It comes with a stamp as well as all the dies I just showed you. So here's like the storefront. And hopefully this is going to fit on an A2 size. Or you could do 5 by 7 if that's what you like to do for Christmas. So that is 4 and... Uh, actually, it's longer. Let me do this up here. 4 and 3... Nope. 4 and 7 eighths wide by... So you need to do it on a 5 by 7 card. Um, 3 and a half. And then you have like the canopy for the roof line and some pillars. So that's really cute. But you know, there's other dies in there that I showed you already. Um, this is the stamp set and it comes in this particular folder. I think it's getting eaten up by the dies in there. Um, I'll transfer it over. Um, there's the um, stamp for like a little shelf in the window. Um, you've got some words here and brick backgrounds. So that's really cute. Okay, those are the dies and stamps that I got. And then the last thing I got was paper. And her paper is very, it's excellent quality. It's kind of like, I would say the weight of uh, really good quality watercolor paper. And um, so these are her um, patterns. Let me show you. So these are the ones that are Danish Guard, and they're single-sided. So um, I bought more than one of each. And then there's one I think I purchased just one of. So you can see there's patterns at the top. These little guard guys. These are sprinkled with guards. Really cute. And then there's a background with um, stripes and stars. Not stripes, but dashes. And this one's red striped. I like the color of this red. I, th I think that's what was drawing me to that. Um, this one's a background of gray with white snowflakes. I hope you can see the snowflakes. Bring it closer. Um, this one's a, just a red kind of background. Okay, I got some gnomes. They're gnomes. And they're different gnomes. So you can cut this into four pieces or more if you want to. Um, this is a different color. Same pattern, but different color. You see they've got the gray hats instead of the red ones. And then there's more of this paper in a different 
tone. And then there's some gray. No, not gray. This is green. Yes, this is green, like a canvas green. So it's got like a texture of canvas and it's green because this back one behind here um, has gray falling stars. I only got one of these. And then I got a, a plaid in gray to kind of go along with it. And then I got this one that has, it's called Falling Stars Celadon, but it's got green stars and, and sort of gray stars in it. And then there's this gray plaid, or sorry, green plaid. So that's the paper I got from this um, Charlie and Paul Chen shop over in Germany. And that is my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you later. Bye.